I saw a prince, but nay, what I found were ancient men of hairy cheek. Twas a horror, yeah, and one that left my breath stricken in my throat. Lovely kept up this refrain as she traveled with our heroes. She seemed less than happy. Still, she did have a lot of energy. Hasten thy chubby legs. Time waits for those whose time, uh, time waits not for those who slack. Luigi, on the other hand, was elevated that he and his brother were finally reunited. Future Bowser was still nowhere to be found. Were they safe? So thought our heroes as they made their way slowly up, slowly to the underwear road. Chapter 7 through 2 The Sealed Doors 3 Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. And we're back with some more Super Paper Mario in the last episode. We began Chapter 7 and returned to the underwear. And now we're going to be making our way up and make it to the over there. How long less we find it. Herein lies the way out of the underwear the underwear this is underwear road so if we proceed ever upward we'll eventually reach the over there yeah verily well one would think that is to, that to be obvious Ugh. my heart weeping to return to the over there without meeting my one true love pray speak this to me to be Believest thou in the idea of a soulmate? Hmm? Well, you know why. I don't really... Hmm, I shall mark that as one book for undecided. Or perhaps I should say unrequited in the, that thy case. Ha ha! To Luigi's pencil. What are you... What are you... Ridiculous! I mean, I'm not... Hee <laughs> hee. Sweet Tippy, how simple it is to tweak thy chin. So, now I must forge onward. Catchest me if thou canst. That girl is a walking mood swing. I mean, she's entirely unstable, isn't she? And the underwear road. Yeah, great lesson. Through this door is the underwear's hotspot. Underwear road. The dark is so dark in there, you can almost taste it. And it tastes like danger. So, tourist, huh? Listen, you guys aren't hacking any fire or anything, are you? Sorry, gotta ask. We keep it dark in there on purpose, so we don't want to spoil anything. So, let's go in into Venturing the Darkness. And, yeah, it definitely is dark. Gotta follow uh, Love Bee here. Then why not heal? Oh, boy! There's more of those things... I don't know if they're- oh yeah, they're- they're- they're not invincible. Oh, they're following us! Oh, there's a treasure chest up there, hold on. Let's open it up. And we get a dark boot card, okay, interesting. Oh, what the hell? That thing faced the room? Well, there goes a dark boot right now. Wow, my finger was hurting from that. Did cut the nail a little short, but that's kind of my fault. Ugh. I kind of hate that when that happens. I, I, remember, I remember how this feeling was back then. Uh, when I was playing on my Wii very often, like, you know, growing up with it. Alright, we made it to here at the door. It looks like as though it's being closed by some mysterious force. Okay. Do you... Let's see, we might have to turn 3D on this one. It doesn't seem like it. That's Love Bee. Love Bee. She is a optimistic NIMBY girl. She's being sent to Grand Bee of the Over There as requested by Jadies. For some reason, this girl flusters me. This door is no ordinary door. Halt! 
What's this then? Travelers have come. Oh, now Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, people. I'm Door Guy the First. Lots of monsters around, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks. But I need to make sure you're trustworthy. Just a couple questions. Answer them all correctly. We're done here. Then you can head on through. Here's the first one. I'm warning you, though. These are pretty tough questions, so use these noggins. Demand, a, demand A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost 7 coins a piece, and tomatoes cost 10 coins a piece, okay? D-Man has 50 coins when he goes into the store, when he comes out with 5 coins. Those are the facts now. Who is the most powerful person in the underwear? <laughs> Queen DJs, Queen Daisies, and Queen JDs. So, yes, JDs. Dingo! Correct. Next question. Shady B buy 667 pens for 13 coins each and buys 108 notebooks for 42 coins each. He needs more money, so he takes out 3,756 coins from the bank and spends it all. Those are the facts now. What is my name? <laughs> Door guy the 64th, Door guy the 1st. Dingo correct. Now for the last question, Panda A and Bear B go to Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain and each has a 20 apple yield. A, a takes 10 seconds to pick each apple while B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple. Those are the facts now. How many times did I say the word apple? Oh my god, uh... Six? Dingo! Okay, I just, I guess I was not paying attention to apple. You folks seem okay to me. Head on through. <laughs> I like I like guessed on that last one. Ugh. It's locked. Huh? What do you want? Look, we love to chit chat, but we're in crunch time. Busy over here, can't you tell? We simply must reach the over there, but we don't know which way it is. You over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll head you up there, but we can't open it right now. We've got to guard this door. We've trapped the raging beast from the underwear inside. Yep, this thing is definitely the one that escaped its prison. We can't have it breaching security, so we lock both doors just in case. The thing, th this thing's a beast, let me tell you, real nasty. If it starts rampaging again, I don't want to be the man who has to stop it. Problem is, until someone subdues it, we can't really use the door to go to the over there. So if you can tame it, we ha can open the door if you want to give it a shot. <laughs> I was just messing with you. Seriously, no one would ever be dumb enough to... Wait, did you just say yes? Are you nuts? You're serious. You're actually gonna... You actually think you're gonna tame that beast? Well, hey, yeah, a great idea. Sounds like a smart plan. Tell you what, you head on in and I'll mail your mustache to your next of kin. <laughs> Look, my prediction, your game's about to end. If not, we'll help you on your way. Give it a shot, champ. Let's go in and let's have Luigi get into his first big battle. Let's do this. Where am I? And why do these jerks and shades keep jumping me? What's and what's with this dark? Being Peach isn't here, and I'm hungry. What did I do to deserve this? Hey, it's the guy in green! You're alive? And what's happened to everyone else? What happened to Peach? We don't know yet. We're looking for her too. So what you're telling me is that she's definitely not here, and I don't like it this one bit. Aha! I see your plan! You want to break up with me, what me and Peach have going! Yeah, you've been waiting to, for a chance to fireball me back in the back. <laughs> you're know, like, no, no. Uh, no, we truly don't know where Peach is. We merely... Cat it, you ugly little bug! I'll stop the truth out of you! Charge! 
And we have our rematch with Bowser. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's Bowser, the king of Koopas and arch enemy of Mario. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, defense is 2, he has spikes and you can't stop on him. I imagine his fiery breath and stomp attack do a lot of damage. You have to use pixels to win items to win this battle, so yeah, Bowser's uh, definitely got a big upgrade here. <laughs> his arm flailing, that's hilarious. Yes, Luigi's uh, jumping attack does damage, and oh my god, he's... I hear about does a lot of damage. There we go. Right on, it's not gonna finish it. Grok! Dang, why do I always lose? What is wrong with me? I get up every time, though. As many times as it takes to send you to the underwear. Um, sorry to break it to you, to this you big guy, but we're already here, there. See, this is the underwear. What? What are you talking about? Do I look like a guy whose game is over? You and Mori were s sent here to the land of ended games, to the underwear. We didn't know what had happened to any of you, not just Peach. What? So Peach really is lost out there somewhere. Why didn't you say so, idiot? We could have been searching this entire time. Bowser has rejoined the party. What are you waiting for? Let's move! Hey, it's you and your game isn't over! Did you run away or something? What? You beat it! Seriously? No way! Man, I can't believe it! Well, uh, thanks! You're a prime go-getter, pal! This key will open the, the door that connects to the over there. And we got the door key! Cool, cool. Problem solved. Way to think outside the box there, people. I'll just stay on watch here. You two go find the rest of the monsters out there. We're on it! Oh, hey, and let me give you a little tip. Lots of dark areas around here, right? So Lucia, put a little flame to the torch. The scones you see on the wall. That'll light up the place for a while. Careful, though, they'll eventually go out. If you know someone who can use fire, get them on torch duty stat. And so we shall. Actually, what happens if we speak to them? Wait, what does he want to watch? Does he want to watch Under Vision? <laughs> Anyways, let's open the door. And go in. So yes, Bowser's now back with us. That's three out of the four heroes. Yay, now we can actually see and not have scribbliness everywhere. Oh boy, this is a uh, this part is one GIF in this game or GIF, uh, where it's like hey, super pick Mario level design it just shows this part with Mario jumping from side to side. It's uh definitely one of those areas. Oh, okay. Let me burn your corpse. Yeah, it's one of those places where people tend to point out that the flaws of this game's level design because it's just this one back and forth jumping from side to side platform and it's like it takes a very long time to go through. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry I sounded like I almost was about to go insane there and I was because that was a big fall down. I'm sorry if I'm coughing a little bit, I do have... I'm still recovering from a, like, a little bit of a cold from the New Year's. Oh boy, a bunch of dark things. But, uh, yeah, I should be basically back to normal soon-ish. But I'm like 99% better at the moment. Alright, let's see what's in here. Because that's what we're missing out at the moment. We got a bunch of coins! Whoa, oh, uh, they all disappeared. Was that timed? Wow, 
Well, uh, I guess I that might have been timed. I don't know. Okay, we continue making our climb here. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's why. Did not know. Realize there was a little dead end of sorts. And we got ourselves another door. A door, it seems, though, is being held by some mysterious force. This door it looks like Door Guy, the first from earlier. Halt! What's this, then? Travelers have come. And it's yet another door. Now, Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, folks. I'm Door Guy the Second. Look, I apologize for the intrusion, but I've got to run a quick security check here. I've got a few questions. Answer them all correctly, and I'll wave you on through. Activate screen! Alright, question one. Look closely at the objects on the screen, okay, folks? Now answer me this. How many reddit objects were there? Uh, three. Hmm. Sorry, folks. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you if you're right or wrong just yet. Question two. What's on the screen now? How many triangles were there, folks? Hoo hoo ha! Question three. Eyes on the screen, folks. What color were the moving objects? <laughs> Shmorange. Blue. That's your answer, eh? Now, next question. <clears throat> Off the top of your head, what n number question is this? <laughs> One billion, five, and four. This is question four. Getting tired of this, folks? Don't give up! This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. What was the most plentiful shape? Donuts. Uh, it was triangles. Done! Let me analyze your responses real quick. Ooh ha! You answered 80% of the questions correctly. What were you thinking? Too hard? Try countless flossing strokes and brain. Sharpens a brain. Yeah, well, with a score like that, I can't let you. Oh. I got one of them wrong. <coughs> but also, I realized that the faces look a lot like the, uh,. The curses from Th Thousand Year Door. Oh, uh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna really pay attention to see what I'm doing wrong. Question one. Okay, so three squares, three triangles, and three circles. There's only two triangles. Okay, there's only two triangles. Okay. That's what we're getting wrong. I can't believe I fucked that up. <laughs> I'm sorry for the language here, but I screwed that up twice. I should make. Actually, I wait three times. So blue. Question four. And triangles. And then we're done. Uh, I'm sorry that I did not that I did not cut this out. I just want to show you my misery and stupidity. Oh ho ha! Perfect, amazing. I'm impressed. Your brains mu a ages must be very young, folks. With brains that young, you must be good people. Head on in. So I'm guessing old people are bad people. But <laughs> all right. We've got another locked door here, and a heart-shaped door. Who's in here? Let's find out. And oh my god, some old hags. <laughs> I'm Hagra, yes, one of the ancient sisters three of the underwear cronies. Mm, young one, aren't you? Are you headed? Where are you headed, young man? And you seek the pure heart, so you desire an audience with Gamby? Sounds serious. Well, you are not the only soul here with a problem. No, for I have one as well. 
Yes, I lent a certain book to a certain D-man, you see? And now I need it back. Can you, could you find him and get it back for me, you young strapping young thing? Uh, sure. Good, yes, allow me to send you to wherever this D, where this D-man is in question. Thanks for your help. Yes? Uh, Agricadabra! Uh... I guess that's him. Return the book. Oh, you mean the one I bought from the, the hag? Yeah, no prop, no prop. Just to finish reading that bad boy, actually. Got the diet book. Gotta say, the weight loss plan kind of seems dubious. Yeah, probably a fad. But hey, thanks that hag for me anyways, okay? Well, now that we're gonna have to thank her and we're gonna have to go up here again. I guess this also gives us a chance to see what this actually looks like. Uh, now that we don't have to really deal with uh, any sort of fire shenanigans. Or rather, going through the dark. Although I might switch partners just to... Oh my god, I was about to get caught in there. And just to uh, hurry it up. The dark boos are... The dark boos are very pesky. So uh, yeah, the underwear. This chapter is actually pretty memorable uh, for its, you know, obviously like its design and whatnot, and also like, you know, the whole going through hell and like Mario and Bowser and Luigi and Peach dying. Uh, it's pretty dark and something new for a Mario game. So yeah, a lot of people tend to really uh, love this chapter because of it, because of how unique it is compared to. Uh, other parts of the game. Okay, never mind. Boy, more of these uh, hands. Oh my god, there's more of them from last time, actually, now that I know, realized it. Also, I wonder how the heck the Koopa Troopers get here. And again, they could just be the. Uh, complex minions, especially because, uh, the dark boost could, uh, go from 2D to 3D. Excuse me, I'm trying to go around. Alright. Alright, some, I guess, flamed up, uh, bones, I guess. It's a bone broth. That stuff is healthy, though. It's, uh, really good for soups, too. Anyways, enough food talk. Let's go bring this, uh, naggy old woman her book that she also desires. I'm not sure if the other three also have their own stuff or requirements. Okay, diet book. Oh, this is it. Yes, yes. See, I'm getting a little pouchy in my old age. I thought I might try this no tummy mummy diet to try getting back into shape. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for getting this. Yes. Let me give you this as a thanks, sonny. You got the door key. <laughs> Goodbye, young man. Meh, 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 meh. And what are you heading, young man? Agatha wants to know. You seek a puny heart? I know what that is, but it sounds serious. Yes, I hate to be a bother, but I have a small problem. You see, I, I, listen carefully. There's a show I really want to watch on Thunder Vision tomorrow night. I set, so I set my recorder to tape it automatically so I would not forget, yes? It has to be high quality, not that quick stuff. Such awful image quality. In any case, I must be... Sure, the bone ball game didn't go into extras and delay it. Ask Demon to check the recording. Could you ask him about the game for me? Uh, yes. Oh, simply wonderful. I sent you to the. Oh my god. Agatha Wagatha! And we're being sent back yet again. At least it's somewhat close. Oh, message for me. Uh, Agatha, this is. Uh, oh, you crone. 
Hag time mystery hour. Hag time mystery hour. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Tell that hag I've got it cut covered. I'll check on it. No problem. Later. And we have to go all the way back in again. Oh boy. Uh, I guess we could also use this time uh, to talk about the, how close we are to the end of the game. Like, yeah, we're getting very close and uh, just pretty uh, sounding that this is probably the shortest of my Paper Mario Let's Plays, if you think about it. But then again, like, back then with YouTube's time limit and also, like, I didn't really record too long of episodes. Like, I always have, like, five, like, even three-minute episodes sometimes. And it's just like, why did I even do that? Also, I realized that those hand things were hand things were probably out because it was dark. But uh, yeah, I realized how uh, long those let's older let's plays were. It's because I didn't know how to uh, really properly record back then, and uh, a lot of the episode titles are also pretty bad. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the one thing I guess bad about younger me that I was not the most creative when it came to titles, and also structuring how long videos should go. Oh, did you tell D-Man? Oh, great, yes, wonderful, as thanks, I'll tell you something good. Do you know about the horrible beast with the three heads, the Enderchomp? Well, it loves music, and if you play it to your song, it will go to sleep. So if you run into it, you have to play, you have something that plays music, use it, yes? That should make it the battle a little easier, Sonny. Well, I'll see you later. Man, 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 man. And at least we'll get the save block. And finally... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, where are you headed, youngin'? Yeah, free time, right? Huh, you do old Haggins a favor. So you will do it? Yes! I did not imagine you wouldn't turn down a lovely lady. I have one simple request. Just stay here for a while and let me talk to you. Now, let me see, what should you, what should we talk about? I know, I'll tell you a spicy little story from my days of burning youth. You may not know it, but know it to see me now, but I was a red-hot little tomato back in the day. Boys drooled in my presence, and I was a very incarnation of beauty back then. I had a date with a new handsome fellow every single night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then one day, a certain fellow caught my eye, and I was deep, but felt deeply in love. But I was shy with the real feelings on the line, and I hid my deepest emotions. And then a rival for his affections appeared. Oh, how I raged into the night. Like night, night and day, our polar personalities were polar opposites, yes. And yet, though, wait, through some twist of fate, we had fallen for the same fellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, knocked two, we two knocked ourselves out doing all we could to turn his head. Keep in mind, I was a veteran man-eater, high knees knew what she was doing. But if I cooked him a seven-layer cake, she would do eight layers and hide it in it. She would fill his schedule with dates with her, so I could not. You get the idea. So I had to find some way to set my uh, myself apart from her in his eyes, and if I just kept at it until I found the courage to tell him my feelings one day. But then he rejected me. My rival had already won his heart, it seemed. I was so distraught, my hair turned white overnight, and I aged until I looked like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kidding, I made that part up. Anyway, I feel like my youth ended on that day. I blossomed magnificent, magnificent, uh, magnificently, and then bloom fell from the branch, as it were. But flowers were beautiful because they must wither, so my beauty was true. And the name of this fellow I was after? Ramby. He lives far above us in the over there. I have no regrets about my p pretty youth. In fact, remember me to Gramby. Ah, that was lovely. Thanks to you, I feel so refreshed. Now then, what is it? Am I done? Well, not exactly, youngin. I said still must thank you. Thanks! That was my present for you. A very nicely drawn out thank you. And I guess that was three mini side quests that we did. I mean, one of them was required, so... Let's get the door key in and get to this next door. And the bee also goes off once more. Uh, seems a lot more outdoorsy. Also, I have a feeling we're gonna need Luigi for this one. 
from snort st staircases and also some big giant rumblings. This could only mean something's dangerous up and coming ahead. Oh my god, yes there is. <laughs> wow, that was clutch. Yeah, I did not expect these guys to make a quick little return. Oh boy, here we go. I think this may be it. The door, it looks like it's at the home place. Okay, so once again. It's another door guy. Oh no, travelers have come? Halt, Queen Jay's remains. I guard this door, people. I am door guy the third. I gotta take a second and see if you guys are worthy to pass through. Can you, can I get a little under chop? Bowser's face. If you folks are worthy of passing through, you should be able to beat this guy. So if you want to head on through, you've got to fight. Ready? Go! Other chop attacks, and suddenly this became Earthbound. So, or Final Fantasy. What will we do? Attack, technique, pixel... Uh, oh, Bowser is definitely the strongest. Uh, we do have our items as well. So we shall use our flame technique on the blue, blue under chop. But the flame. Oh, so it's water based. Okay. It also takes three damage. It's due to the yellow under chop. Oh. Uh, well, this is bad. Well, eat the gorgeous steak. Oh, 25 HP. Bowser dodges it like a pro. So yeah, it's very much an RPG within a platformer. Uh, <laughs> I like how they did this, because, like, uh, I guess we'll use Boomer. Actually, Clutch. Right Red under chomp. So yeah, there's like a tra it's funny how there's a traditional RPG in here, which is pretty funny. Uh, we'll use Boomer on the blue shop. Breathes fire. Wait, but you're blue. I don't know. Stinky breath. Okay. Wait, I don't think they have poison. I do want to hear this music for a bit, so uh, I will mute myself so you guys can listen to it. I like how this, it's basically just like an 8-bit remix of the, uh, like, mini-boss theme. Uh, we'll use Boomer on the Blue Chain Chomp. Oh wow, they only have so little HP, okay. I guess it is supposed to be easy, though. And Bowser dodges the stink. I, that's a pretty funny thing to say. Uh, and, you, and there we go. The yellow underchop is defeated, and you defeated the underchop. Bowser received 6,000 points. Hey, check you folks out. You beat the underchop. Good work. Head on in. And the underchop that was been talked about quite a lot in this chapter has finally been taken down. Uh, is there anything around here? There is something around here, and that is the exit. So, yes, we've made it here. Finally. Love my videos at the like, but make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Next time on Super Paper Mario, we'll be beginning chapter 7 through 3. End of chapter. See you guys then.